Prince 15. I don't think we can go too much farther apart, huh? <laughs> hey, welcome, guys. Randy, uh, nice Thank to you. see you. Matt, pleasure, pleasure, pleasure to have you here right now. Part of what you said in putting this movie together is that most movies about the military don't get it right. Now, this one gets it right, but there are zombies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Speak to it. Yeah, I think a lot of people uh, kind of misrepresent what uh, the military culture is about. So, um, as the main cast is pretty much all combat veterans, and actually is the most decorated military movie of all time. We have two Medal of Honor recipients in it, um, a Navy Cross, Silver Stars, Bronze Stars, and Purple Hearts. So it's kind of a cool experience. We wanted to show kind of the civilian world what we're about and that uh, we're more than just some knuckleheads. We can laugh a little bit too. And Randy, uh, you were attracted to this because? Well, I served in the United States Army from 1982 to 1988. So it's certainly something I understand. And now obviously, 25 plus years later, I get a chance to rub elbows with these guys that have actually been shot at. And, you know, I, I think him and I both agree that, you know, being shot at or being punched in the face, this is a lot easier and a lot more fun. So. <laughs> yeah. This has never been done before, though, to have everyone, and you have people who have been wounded in, in combat. You have all these people. It's like a movie by vets for vets. First time, right? Absolutely. Again, it was crazy the amount of support we got from a lot of wounded uh, veterans, triple, double, single amputees that came out there just to support the film. So it was an amazing experience. And more than half the money was raised by, by the public. Correct. So we did an Indigo campaign and the crowdsource is about $1.2 million we raised through the community. So it was an amazing feat. And it's, it's rated R. I, try, I watched the Red Band version. Um, my computer's blowing up in the newsroom right now, but it, it, I may be escorted out of the building. But it, so it's like, it's, it's in there. It's language, it's blowing up, it's everything, right? Yeah, it's, it's kind of that humor you have when you're deployed. You know, it's like a macabre sense of humor where you, you develop these mechanisms to kind of deal with the crazy situations you're doing when you're deployed or active duty. Um, so yes, we, we don't hold anything back, but at the same time, it's, it's a real fun experience. It's fun. Randy, I want to talk to you for a moment. Where are you in your level of fitness and ready to fight? Well, I own a gym in Las Vegas, Extreme Couture MMA. So we work and train with a bunch of fighters. My son is actively fighting uh, for Bellator mm -hmm. uh, Fighting Championship. And uh, so, you know, you, you got to go in as a gym owner once in a while and rule the yard and, and keep guys straight. I, you, you I, have I to love walk to train. Walk, it's got right? a part yeah. of your life, <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. Still heavily involved in wrestling and, and helping the wrestling community. That's where I came from. We've mm -hmm. got the big wrestling gala this Thursday Are for you, fundraising listen, for the Rio team. So. You're one of the first big stars of MMA and UFC. And you go, uh, we're saying th UFC 13 was your first time. Yeah. You fought more than anybody else. You've had more championship fights than anybody else. They're doing 200. Now, come <laughs> on, even you back then, would you have imagined it'd be a 200? No, it, it's pretty amazing that it's come as far as it's come and, and as mainstream as the sport has become and, and really growing globally. Uh, you know, it, it's popular in so many countries now. And uh, I, I think it's an amazing thing. It's not something I saw in 1997 when I was like, man, that looks like fun. I want to try it, that, that it was going to go that it's far. It's a growth industry. And it has. Yeah. Well, and hold, I also noticed Alec Scarlotto. Scarlotto. Yes. Was that, was that his first acting? Remember the guy who helped on the train? The right. Oh, well, the hero. The, the terrorist yeah, attack. The terrorist yeah, attack. Yeah. He's in, in it. I'm France. not sure if that was his first film, but yeah. Uh, yeah, he was great. Came out and donated his time for us. And uh, he, he's, a, he's a hero, so we, we're glad to have him a part of the cast. A lot of heroes mm -hmm. anyway, in there. It is called Absolutely. Range 15. It opens a week from tomorrow. Great to have you guys here, Matt. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank you. Champ, how are you? Thank very you for good. coming Thank in. You.